Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a video talking about a build for On Her. This is going to be a build I'm calling the Penetrator, which um, I'm not sure how I feel about that name or not, but I think it fits. Um, this build is going to, as you might guess, focus a lot on physical penetration as well as physical power. I think On Her is a god that people maybe aren't building uh, in the most optimum way. And I think that it's more important to focus on the penetration with on her compared to attack speed. While attack speed is great on all hunters, I think it's better with on her to to not build as much attack speed compared to other builds um, and to focus more on the penetration. So with that, we're going to be going into the God Builder and looking at um, this build. And we're going to start off with Bluestone Pendant. I think this item can be exchanged for Destal uh, in this build. Really, both items will work. The reason I think Bluestone might be a little bit better is because of the 100 mana. I think On Her uses a little too much mana early game. They did change that in the most recent patch, patch 3.4, um, so that his Impale won't use as much mana, but I think the mana on this will help, and this will allow you to play a little bit more aggressively. His abilities will do uh, an additional 30 physical damage over two seconds. Uh, max two stack so i think that uh, is, is a good item for on her to use and i think it's definitely will work in this build so i'm going to go with blue stone and then we're going to go into the normal um boots one and then i usually go uh two mana and two health so we're going to do that i think that's a pretty good start so that's going to be what you get when you first get out of the fountain and then uh, of course, the first real item is going to be Warrior Tabai. I've said this before, but this item I think is just so much better than Ninja Tabai because of the extra physical power you get from it. Um, I think that's definitely more important than the attack speed that you get from Ninja, Ninja Tabai. And then after that, we're going to go into our first penetration item. That's going to be Ichival. And this is going to give you right away some, some attack speed, some early attack speed, and the physical penetration. So if you're playing against gods who are building some early physical protections, so um, I think this is actually a great item to get off third item because a lot of supports players, a lot of soul laners, and even some mages are starting to build Breastplate of Valor, like third item. So if you can match that Breastplate with Ichival, then you will be you know doing a little bit more damage on those types of gods so because that I, because breastplate i think is a little bit pop, more popular now i think itch of all is definitely a good way to go um this item isn't being picked up as much as it used to be it used to be like a cornerstone in every hunter build and now people are changing it up people are going more like aussie and titan's bane and they might go shin size like fourth item to get that you know off early but i think itch of all is a good good item to start with with on her and again it gives you that penetration so that's going to be the focus and then after Ichival, we're going to go right into our lifesteal item, which is going to be Aussie. This is, to me, again, the, the most important lifesteal item for hunters. I don't think any of the other lifesteal items are quite as good. It's cheap. It gives you 15% lifesteal and plus 25% lifesteal when you're below 35% health. So t this is definitely a great item. And again, it gives you that extra physical penetration, which on her, I think really needs the main reason i say that is because on her has a great ultimate early game uh it does a lot of damage but once you start getting into late game and people are building those physical protections his ultimate tends to fall off so i think if you can maximize the penetration in the uh, on her's build you can make sure that ultimate is hitting just as hard late game as it is early game i think that's important so um that being said after aussie we're going to go into more penetration with uh, Titan's Bane. So this will give you just base 30 physical power and then all of your physical attacks will also get 33% physical penetration. And that's good. And Titan's Bane is actually a pretty cheap item. It's 2050, I think that's that's really not too bad. It gives you a really good power spike. So um, something that on her definitely needs. After Titan's Bane, we're going to go into um, the Executioner, if I can find it, here it is. Um, so this is going to give you a little bit more attack speed. Um, so you're getting you're getting a good amount already with Ichival 30% plus 20% and then 25% more. So the attack speed isn't gonna, actually going to be that bad on, on her. Um, but I like the passive on Executioner for him. Again, it's just another form of penetration. All your basic attacks against enemies reduce their physical protection by 8% for 3 seconds with a max of 4 stacks. So I think Executioner is very important on her to have. Uh, I don't usually get this item on a lot of Hunter builds just because I, I like like Shin Size a little bit more than this item. But I think on, on her it definitely fits. So I'm going to get uh, Executioner next. And then 
with that, we're going to have pretty much a full build if you still have bluestone. And uh, I just want to look at the stats real quick. So if you look on the left, uh, we're going to have 25% or 25 fin uh, penetration. Our basic attacks are going to be hitting for around 205, which is very good. And our physical power is going to be 115. So um, this is a good build. Of course, we're going to be selling the blue stone right around when you buy Titan's Bane. Um, that's usually like fourth, fifth item. That's when you want to sell your starter. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at two items, which can be in our, our last spot. The, the first item I'm going to look at is the Crusher. And I think this is probably the better item for on her for a couple reasons. I think people don't pick up this item mainly because it's it's passive focuses on towers and people's main focus aren't towers people are obviously trying to get more kills um so i mean it's you know that's that's the main reason i think people don't get this item that often but if we look at if we build the crusher um and you look on the left our physical penetration is going to be a 45 which is just five below the max penetration you can have which is 50 but the crusher passive says that all basic attacks against towers and phoenixes, phoenixes grant a stack that increases your attack speed by 10% and your physical penetration by 5 for 2 seconds. So once that passive is activated, you're going to have max physical penetration against towers. So if you want to, you can use this build to split push with on her. Um, or if you're just team fighting, you're going to be the main one taking down the towers with this item. So I think, I think this is a great item on him. A little bit underused on a lot of hunter builds and again since we are calling this this build the penetrator the 20 the plus 20 physical penetration i think is like the highest amount you can get on any item so it's huge this will help his ultimate be a lot more potent late game so i think that's that's a great item to have in the the last spot if you don't want to go the crusher and you don't want to focus on like the tower damage you can definitely go for um brawler's bead stick and this is an item that's being used a little bit more now, I think, um, just off the base stats. The base stats are exactly the same as the Crusher, but if even if this item didn't have a passive, I would still use it because the 40 physical power and the 20 physical penetration is great. Um, and some people, I think people don't use this item that much because of its passive. People think this is just an item you would use against healers, but the passive does say that enemies hit by your abilities have 40% reduce regen uh, in it, as well as healing so I think this applies to anyone you hit their health is not gonna is gonna be regenerating less than 40 percent 40 percent less for eight seconds um, just as the same as someone who's getting healed so I think that this is definitely a viable option even if you're not playing as a healer on the enemy team so I think one of these two items should be one of your you know how you finish up the build again just to get that the penetration as you know as high as possible i think is important this will make his ultimate just a lot stronger and he can do a lot better late game so um th that's it that's the build um for relics i'll just quickly show you that i usually go beads and sprints i think those are two good items you can also if you want to, ha to have help with the mana early game you can go meditation i wouldn't recommend that i would just say go go for beads go for sprint i think that's those are the two best relics on on her um and yeah that's it that's the build let me know what you think if you are are playing on her and you have a different build i'd love to see it in the comments um if you have any other gods you'd like me to talk about some builds you would want to see then please let me know and uh that is it i hope you have a great day and thank you very much for watching and as a little bonus i wanted to show you some footage i'm going to start doing this a lot with a lot of the builds that i make I wanted to show you some footage of the build, so you can see it on the left there. This is the, the full build with the Crusher. I sold Bluestone in order to get the Crusher. Um, so I'm just going to show you how much damage she's going to be doing. Um, those are his, his basic attacks are hitting for 250, 260. Um, so that's going to be pretty lethal late game. And uh, we'll wait for him to, to respawn so we can show you his other abilities. Um, so let's see what his leap does. Uh, that hit, I didn't even see the number, so I'm going to have to do it again. Um, we'll do his impale. So that hit for 462, and then it's stunned. That's pretty good. And then his ultimate. Uh, hitting. Each hit was 192 with the with his ultimate, so that's pretty good. Again, raw, I mean, this is uh, jungle practice, so this raw doesn't really... I don't think he has any uh, physical protections, so it's going to be a little bit different. But it is good to look at. I'm going to try the leap again. Just to see what the uh, the damage is. Couldn't even see it that time either. 
That's too bad. Um, but uh, he's going to be pretty strong with this build. And I mean, I, I could show you the, the statistics um, of the build. So again, we have the, the penetration is going to be at 45. 140 uh, physical power and then his attack speed is also pretty good almost at max actually so um, This build is actually a little bit better as far as attack speed than I thought so I'm gonna try the leap one more time 294 was the game So that's that's pretty good, you know, he's, he's pretty lethal. So um, there you go That's that's a little bit of footage about the build. Uh, thanks again for watching